Hey everyone, it's me, Aaron, Professor Thorgy, and welcome to a brand new-ish show on this channel called Kick It. It's going to be a bi-weekly series in which we are going to spotlight crowdfunded projects such as Kickstarter, Patreon, GoFundMe, or any other crowdfunded website because I like to talk about everything on this channel from the world of geekery, but I don't just like talking about the big guys, the people who have already made it. No, I also like to help out the little guys. I like to help out the people who are struggling to get their dreams off the ground because a lot of times those dreams turn out to be some of the most interesting things out there. So that is why we are going to do this show in which we spotlight these young creators and try and help them make these projects come to life. And for this very first episode, I am going to spotlight two of my followers, actually. I actually got introduced to these guys when they started following me on Twitter, and I started to learn about them over the years as they started interacting with me, and they actually have their own Kickstarter up now. Now, this is for a website called Fierce Ferrets, and it's a website that features podcasts, it features Twitch streams, but also features web comics. That is actually the thing that is most known for. It's got two big web comics called Dungeon Minis and Beelzebub, and they have just started up their own Kickstarter in which they are attempting to raise $7,500 in order to fund official merchandise for these web comics. Now, the first thing that I have to point out about the people behind Fierce Ferrets is that many times when we go to fund Kickstarters, we always think to ourselves, all right, are these people serious about this? Have they shown that they can back up this promise? Is this gonna be one of those things where they take the money and run? I can say with 100% certainty that is not the situation here. You can trust these guys to come through with their promise on this because they have been working on these webcomics since 2007. Their webcomics, their Twitch streams, their podcasts, they have been working hard to make Fierce Ferrets a big site for over 10 years now. So yeah, this is something that they have shown they have the dedication to. This is not just some crazy idea that they got, hey, let's throw together a webcomic. No, they have shown they have the dedication needed to make this actually come to life. So that is why I am willing to come in here and say, yes, we should all go and support them on this. But why am I targeting my audience with this? Well, like I said, I like to talk about everything from the world of geekery here on this channel. And the webcomics that they do, they're really fun, they're really upbeat and charming, and honestly, they're just really darn cute. I absolutely love the art in these comics. Uh, but the Dungeon Minis one is the one that I think will speak to my audience a lot, because it's just the story of a group of friends coming together to do a D&D campaign. And I will admit, I don't play D&D myself. Nothing wrong with it, it's just something that I just never really got into myself, just never really appealed to me. But I still know enough about D&D that I'm able to enjoy the comic itself. But if you do play D&D, I actually think that you would really dig that series. I think that it would be something that would connect with you. And what they are attempting to do with this Kickstarter, as I said, they're attempting to create merch, but they're attempting to create t-shirts, tote bags, stickers, tons of other things, all themed around these web comics. And even if you have not read Dungeon Minis, even if you don't know these characters, one of the bits of merchandise that they are attempting to create are t-shirts and tote bags with the designs of the various different classes in Dungeons & Dragons. So they've got barbarians, they've got clerics, they've got sorcerers, they've got necromancers, they've got druids. Anything that you love to play as in a D&D campaign, they are going to make a shirt with a design for that specific class and Listen, again, I don't play D&D, but if I did, I'd like to think that when I rolled in there to my D&D campaign, I'd like to represent. I'd like to come in there dressed out in whatever my class is. And yeah, I was looking at the designs that they are displaying for what they want to make for each of these classes. I think they actually look kind of awesome. I think that if I played D&D, I would really want to jump on that. But even if you don't play D&D, they're going to make uh, merchandise for their other web series, as well as for each of their ferrets that serve as the mascots for their site. And listen, if you just like really cute, fuzzy animals, I actually think the designs for these ferret shirts and stickers look adorable as well. So again, even if you're not into D&D, I think that there's a lot here that they're offering that could interest you. Now, as I said, they are attempting to raise $7,500 for this campaign. And at the time of this recording, only four days after they started the Kickstarter, they're already 90% of the way there. Yeah, as I said, they've been working at this for a while and they have built up the audience that trusts them in order to make this come true. They have built up an audience that wants to see this merch, so they don't even really need me. It's pretty much a done deal that this thing is going to succeed. However, if you are a big follower of Kickstarter campaigns like I am, you know nothing is better than not only going past your limit, but going beyond it. So that way you can make it a huge success. I sound like All Might there. We have to help them go beyond on this. So yes, even though they clearly do not need my help on this, they are easily going to pass that mark. 
I just thought it would be really cool if I could get the whole Professor Thorey community to come together and unite as one and really help these guys, you know, go past that limit of theirs because they have been working at this for so long. They deserve that little extra treat. They deserve to not only succeed, they deserve to be a huge success. They deserve to get this extra prize in there. And they're offering a ton of great rewards in there. If you pledge at the $25 limit, you will get a sticker pack and you'll also get a t-shirt of your choice. But for a limited time only to some of the early investors, if you pledge $40, you can actually get two t-shirts and a tote bag. It is a great deal and I recommend everybody go through their list of rewards. Find the one that you want to help with because they even have rewards for people who just donate a dollar. But as I said, you can donate anything to this. It will really go towards helping them out. But thank you guys very much. As I said, this is going to be a bi-weekly show in which we are going to come in here every two weeks and spotlight a different Kickstarter, GoFundMe, Patreon, any kind of campaign like that in order to help people uh, fund their projects. So if you know of any projects out there that you think looks really darn cool, you can leave them in the comments down below or you can always contact me on Twitter, Twitch, and Tumblr at Professor Thorey. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Come back next time. Bye.